Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is a very cool animal and it's a zebra. And I had the request in a birthday party and thanks to people that follow me on my Instagram, they were able to, um, you know, request. I said, hey, you don't have a tutorial about this design. A lot of things, you know, it's a moment that you will not really uh, make it because you've seen a tutorial. It's you make it because that's how you feel at that moment. So that's a cool thing about, you know, being a balloon twister. But I saw the comments about yeah let's do it because it, i just made it that time and it was really cool and there's a lot of techniques that you already seen so we're just kind of like practicing and i'm going to show you this design so that way you see if you like it remember the cool part about tutorials is not just make it exactly the same you can always add details or take them out so then you can make your design faster and also go and work with the things you have available because now it's a shortage in balloons. You probably don't have very white and, and black for the zebra. So you can try and make a crazy zebra, rainbow, or you can make it with soft pastel color. Any balloon you have, try it. It's gonna look like a zebra, that's the cool part. Okay, so making things faster. Look, this balloon is black. It's hard because my t-shirt is black, but I'm gonna try to be close. You just inflate it, leaving like seven or eight finger tail. You're gonna make first like, Three finger bubble approximately, things that have to be perfect. You just try and do your best. Another two finger bubble, twist them, and then this you pinch twist. Param, param. And that's are like the horse's lip, lips, but it's gonna be the um, zebra lips. This is kind of a fast design. You can do it for birthday parties, perfect. You know, for an hour, one hour gig, you know, 20 kids, great. This design is gonna fit perfect there. Loose. Pop it, leave some tip there, okay? So keep it for one side. You know this is uh, the other part about the zebra that is gonna help because it's like a horsey. You just make another two finger bubble, two finger bubble, twist it together, lock them, pinch twist, pinch twist. So it's a there, double pinch twist. You can and you save a tip, okay? Don't forget, leave a tip. Let's do this one more time. Two finger bubble, another two finger bubble and twist it together you i don't know if you know this but i, I haven't tied the balloon and it's possible uh if, if you want to do it that way and then at the end you just tie them and you make double pinch twist so we're just repeating okay make sure those pinch twists are this plain like phew, okay double pinch twist now you cut you can leave this also for at the end the tail that's a good idea if you want let's see you probably we need another balloon to 60 black yeah okay so this is a design that you're not repair so much in oh just let's use less balloons as possible i think I'm, I'm just gonna make it as cool as possible okay so you have all that leave it for a side then you're gonna grab a balloon white 260 um, five six finger tail and what you have to do is just make like Four finger bubble, like look, I make sure four or five, and then another four or five, twist them, lock them. So look, lock them, that's what I mean, lock them. Then it's gonna go all the way to the other side. So if these bubbles first were five, now this one on top is gonna be a little bit longer, slightly longer, slightly. So that means six for a finger long. And look what I'm doing. I'm just passing the last bubble, opening the two first bubbles, and push with my thumb in the back my thumb is pushing and there we go you have that then from here you can just make two or three finger loop and another two or three finger loop yeah and then from here what i did is just go with um five finger long and then five finger long or actually shorter four finger long another four finger long because like that look and then four finger long here. And then if you have enough balloon, good for you. If it's not, that's okay. Grab another balloon, inflate it, like six finger tail, and just grabbing another balloon. You can cut this extra one, tie it. So now your balloon is longer and you measure another four finger bubble, another four finger bubble. Why I'm not making the legs that long? You can make it that long, but I know on top here, there's gonna be the shoes that is gonna be black, so. Then right here, I like to make the booty. So it's gonna be two pinch twists. That's what for me, it's the booty. And then if you wanna make your zebra uh, 
tranquil, like travel. It's good. You just keep passing. It's still, you still have extra balloon, so why not? Even here, you can make a two finger bubble pinch twist to make, you know, and then here on top, you can just make another bubble. So this is a regular body. These bubbles were like four or five finger long, and this one is a little bit shorter. You can put this bubble here, or you can put it on the bottom. It's up to you. It's all, you know, up to you what you prefer, okay? Then here, cut it. You don't need this anymore. Maybe you can save it for eyeballs, because even white, then you can color it with Sharpie. Why not? Let's try that. Because if you already have this, and you don't want to use another balloon, save this for eyeballs in a moment. Then tie locked pass it around that's you no know, and then let's start attaching things that i already have here this piece is going to be a tail so let's just pass it like this you can make the tail smaller yes you can make it shorter yes so and i can from here decide you know if you don't want a long tail or thicker you just have it like this and it's fine see that for me represents a tail okay that's totally cool now shoes of course now you just may remember uh try to make use your bigger uh pinch twist like in my case these ones for the lips so these are gonna be right here okay the first one you made i think they were more you know bigger so then we just pass it look i pass it through here and even because it's a long tip i go all the way to the ear so things can still lock in everything there okay okay now you have this then so these are lips okay you can always accommodate them accommodate things okay here what else the other the shoes let's attach the shoes right here so it's like connected pull pass it between the legs pull and pass it around okay that's it let's do this one more time legs in between and then you pull and then pass it around so now this can be also the perfect horsey okay very cute shoes shoe horse anything animal like this idea can have shoes and it's adorable okay what else from here now you will need your second balloon 260 black or it can be this is the moment of creativity you can make two balloons 160 and it can be a zebra with different colors but i'm gonna go with black 260 or 160 you just need to make the braid here so you are not going to use all the balloon so you just inflate it like nine ten finger tail i know i'm sh it's like i'm gonna make a zebra and i have a black t-shirt okay this is the light i wonder if that light is good you think or should i try with another light this one mm, this one mm, i think this one <laughs> it's like nothing happened okay you have this what you need to make now is a loop like four finger loop approximately locked that's what i'm doing it's like i do it so fast then uh two finger bubble pinch twist so this is the idea of a horsey style yeah what is a silver it's like a horsey now this technique also think about a donkey why not you have this pass it in between you know the the ears then from here you can make loops like this and this gonna make your style much better i think for a zebra so you just make here a one finger bubble and then a small loop let's try like two finger bubble loop then another one finger bubble and then two finger bubble loop and this technique is a technique that is going to make the hair looking like this let's get closer what do you think eh what do you think so then from here another one finger bubble and another two finger bubble loop soft and squishable okay remember you have lots of balloon here and then you just end in a one finger bubble and it's very small very small bubble and then you just pull all these two here and that's it you can leave it there now you cut or you can even make another loop in the bottom just to make things you know like go to one side as a pony but i'm gonna just cut it you don't need this anymore so um this will be cool if it's long enough it can be like a zebra spot right but it's okay like look this is black but it's okay remember we have sharpie and for zebras why not sharpie time for the zebras and i know um 
So I'm asking McNulty, I saw you mention about the idea to make a tutorial about eyeballs. Now, look at this. Let's play, you know, logical. This is not that stable when it's a bubble, bubble, bubble. There's nothing in between. You can end this more stable if you will be making with a black pinch twist in this side and pinch twist in this side, so then things are more stable. But if you forgot to do it, it's okay. You just, this bubble, instead of be here on the top, you can put it on the bottom. That way in between is gonna be three bubbles that is gonna be this and the one in the other side plus the neck white and this three, but it's making a better connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the bu this bubble, the back is gonna be as a belly, okay? And things are gonna be, I think, more stable, okay? Um, it's, a, it's like the logics of balloon twisting, <laughs> okay? You can make things much better, oh, of course. I hope you do it, but this is just a very cute way to make a zebra. Now, um, it can be a horsey, of course. This can be a very cool way to make a horsey. With this leftover of the white, you just make like two finger bubble. Twist, 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 twist. Look, twist, 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 And then you just make another two finger bubble and tie it together. Things doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best, okay? And that's, you can keep it simple because the idea is also to have simple designs. I'm just cutting my balloon right here. You have this and this, like the way it is, you can put it in there or you can always make a double pinch twist, why not? And then put it in there, it's up to you. Okay, so now it's like Cecilia, but what eyes? Well, it's nothing but with white eyes, if then with Sharpie time, you're gonna color it, you see? So that's another cool way. Let's now sharpie time. Grab your black. Yeah, just black. And if you have your thick black that I know I do have, but I don't know where I put it. Now I'm going to use this one and just grab white sharpie. I mean, black sharpie. Let's just start with the eyes. So I'm going to just make a circle. And if you're in a hurry, look, you just make a, a circle. Let me show you this way. Okay. Look. Sometimes simple is cool. Just make it look. Uh, now, I like this idea of shadows. What is? Um, so I'm gonna make it so you can see. If you can pass your Sharpie in between, it's gonna give it this cool effect of shadows. I like that. It's right in between the, this bubble and these balloons. Are great, I'm painting the base there. You can make it with eyelashes, of course. You can always make things cuter, of course. Okay, then what else? Here, here, make lines, shoe, and shoe, and shoe. Zebra style. Then what else? More zebra style everywhere now. It's whatever you prefer, in the cheeks, the neck, you can make thin lines and then those are going to be few less, you know. And I'm sure for this you're going to be much better. This is just, you know, what I'm doing is just lines and lines trying to make it a zebra lines. Use a thicker sharpie will be easier. And you can also, what else, the, the ears, why not? A little bit, sure. And it can help you kind of like, look like ears if you prefer. Yeah. Make it more pointy, the ears, you see? It's like, you can give that effect to your design. You can help to make this, you know, more like ears. And this is the idea. I hope you like it. Please tell me in the comments what you think. And if you make it, don't forget, always tag me. Tag me on Instagram. That's the best place because at the end of the video, you will see there's, you know, like other people uh, that make, you know, the tutorial and they will see the pictures that I found on, on Instagram. Or uh, please follow me on Instagram. Don't ask me to be friends on Facebook because Facebook, I keep it for my clients here in my community. I think it's a better way for me to organize, you know, my YouTube channel that is for my balloon friends. And then what is my my client for my balloon twisting entertainment. <laughs> okay, so this is a zebra. Another cool thing about this design, and I, I just wanted to, don't forget, is I try to, in Cheyenne, I live, it's super windy, so I have the wristbands from the dollar store. I always beat this because it's a very cool deal that you can go to your dollar store and get this for 100 for $1. 
even the Dollar Tree, that is the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, it has um, a website. So you can also buy this website. So you can just pass it through there and then look, you can make any design, especially animals, you know, bracelet, can be a bracelet. So you just, oh man, just be careful when you pass this because look, I lose um, one, one foot. It's like, man, I wanted to show something cool and, and I destroy my zebra. So let's, I'm just making the extra shoes, okay? Calm down. Nothing is too bad. Things are, everything is gonna be all right. So you just pass it, you know, it's like I'm trying to show you something that probably you already know. You have a, um, a wristband there and then the other one, the idea is I'm going to do it again very nice and gentle. You can pass it in between the legs, pull, and then just pull this very nice and gentle. Be careful, don't, you know, pop the balloons, just be nice and gentle and you will be able to make it. And then you just pass your hands on, you know, the, the kids' hands and this can stay super cool standing there okay so this is a very cool thing to make designs you know to be looking great with the kids arms they have free hands if they fall you know they have their hands and they don't pop their balloons uh, i think it's very cute kids love it they keep it with them so this is the zebra i hope you like it please tell me in the comments don't forget like comment subscribe it's, that helps a lot and then also please visit my amazon wish list there's a lot of choices that you can always support this channel collaborate with this channel by buying anything of those things and it will come straight to my house uh, i'm doing my daughter's birthday party and so i had choices there like balloons things to decorate my daughter's birthday party she's turning 15 and she's an awesome kid and i always love to do this <laughs> for my daughter um my son too but he is not into parties that much now but my daughter you know it makes me feel so happy that she still wants that balloon party and it's you know balloons the garland the, the table you know this is gonna be for pizza and it's gonna be in a roller skate place here in in cheyenne so i'm, I'm very excited but um i you have the choice you can always um collaborate if you help me of course it's helping the channel <laughs> So it totally motivates me. Anything you send, it will be very well appreciated. Also, I have a Venmo account, a PayPal account, and you can donate money, any amount, one, two, three, four, five. All that money I always accumulate it, I save it, so then I can get cool things. Like, for example, now I'm planning, you know, this, my daughter's birthday party that is gonna be on May 29th. So I still have time to order things, you know? And the cool thing about Amazon, it's like things can arrive on time. Then also I start going, you know, to places like Hobby Lobby and start looking, okay. So they might have an ideas, you know, or, or Michael's, they have a lot of craft things. Cause uh, I hope always have a really good idea. When I do my kids birthday party, I get lots of stickers. Now kids, you know, in this uh, generation, they love stickers again. And the stickers is more like, oh, they love bubble tea. So they have a lot of stickers about bubble tea. They love kawaii, cute things, uh, or Hello Kitty. So I bought a lot of stickers, you can buy like 50, for like five dollars i think on amazon and i already bought it so don't buy it for me it's okay those are stickers unless you want to buy others that i have on my amazon wish list but the thing is it's cool because i leave it on the table when they're gonna have the pizza and stuff and it's in the center so while they are there we're talking eating they can check out the stickers they can pick their favorite stickers and those stickers can be you know decorating the water bottles computers you know laptops cell phones and that's something uh, they the kids love it and it's not like a goodie bag but it's a little souvenir a little party favor they can grab um so that's something an idea if you think about doing this for your kids <laughs> okay dokie have a wonderful day and yes please on the description of all my videos you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel ciao ciao